So I got a call from Jim. He is way behind. So uh, we're going to play a farmhand today. Let's get to it. Uh, because I'm not using this trailer, I'm going to uh, back it up into my shed here just for the day. Uh, I'm trying to get around that corner right there. There we go. Finally got her. Alright, unwind this. Still got a uh, pallet of seed on the back there. Before we go down to Jim's and play a farmhand, we need to go down here and uh, water our cattle. So, uh, if you don't know, we got some dairy cows on the farm here. So, this is my dairy pasture, basically. So, these are all my milk cows. So, these are the milkers I have right now. So, uh, I have about 60 heads, so I'm kind of starting out small for a dairy operation. So hopefully we can uh, make a living at this, make some money. Uh, ooh, looks like I'm gonna have to feed them too. I'm a little behind, so I'm gonna water and feed them. So we'll get this uh, our beautiful sunset case tractor here running. Let that warm up. We also got our farm owl here. We'll uh, water them here quickly. As always, I can't get my uh, automatic waterers to work properly here. Run a hose over here. This should be automatic watering, but it isn't working really like it should. All right. Now we can finally, hopefully this is all nice and warmed up, put a little feed for them. I could have put my feed bunks in a better location. I mean, I have a hard time making this turn every time. Got to raise my loader. Raise my loader and it gets pretty muddy right here. Alright, I'm putting a whole bunch of feet in here. You better eat it now right away. Uh oh. Uh oh, did I get the old girl stuck? Oh man. I am stuck. Ugh. I can't back up, can't go forward. Uh, well, this probably isn't a good idea, but I'm gonna let it sit for a day or so, get this mud a little dry. It'll probably be stuck in there hard then, but I uh, have to get a tractor over there. Jim really needs me. Oh man, that's why my hitch is all the way to the ground. Can't believe that. Poor old tractor stuck in the mud. So, if uh, all else, all I have to do is uh, drive over here and put a bale in there, and then I can grind it up and feed it. Still work just good. Alright. I think we'll drive our old GMC up there. GMC has a hydro bed on it so I can lift the bale so it's very convenient to have this uh, hydro bed especially as a rancher oh man before I get going too far I forgot I'm gonna have to get my uh, cousin started in uh, cultivating here and almost forgot about my cousin so
need to have her go down the road here so I'm gonna drive this down and then probably I uh, have she'll follow me down with the, the Ford all right I guess uh, she won't follow me and uh, I will follow her uh oh uh oh I think she's been drinking again and she almost hit my uh, truck over there gonna have to tell her drinking on the job isn't gonna work on this farm Ugh. man what are you gonna do about family you can't do anything about it you just gotta deal with them I guess we'll head down here poor old case tractor is still stuck right there poor guy Start making milk. I need some money. You guys are too expensive not to make milk. Milk is milk is too cheap nowadays. Price has gone down for you to not make any of it. Uh, I think she's gonna park over there in the trees. I guess. Yeah, it's kind of weird. She wants to park right there, but oh well. Kind of happy I just have an open station and that's it for her. She gets to be all dusty today. Alright, we'll set this for her and then uh, probably let her take off. Alright, there she goes. Kind of happy she gets to be dusty today because, uh, one, she looked like she's been drinking this morning. Two, she won't let me drive her truck back so now I gotta walk all the way back to the farmyard man the things you do for family Ugh. man I gotta find somebody else to hire alright think we are actually ready to start heading up to Jim's finally Playing around way too long. Alright, get to. Uh, well, I guess my wife is still home over there. Get a drive, so. Unfortunately, uh, Jim doesn't live as close uh, to us as we used to live to him, so. If you don't know, uh, I help out Jim, so I kind of run my own farm and then I kind of help him out as a farm hand just from time to time. Ooh, my alfalfa is growing over there. We might have to get the mower out here soon. See all that green paint at the John Deere dealership? Beautiful. Old Jeffrey lives over there kind of been pushing Jeffrey a little hard. Hopefully one day we can uh, do some farmhand work for him. Be nice. I do like this valley we get to drive through going to gyms. This is just one of the most beautiful areas in this county. Yes, stunning. Flattens out, and Jim lives in this nice, flat, beautiful farmland country valley. Nice, flat. I mean, man, you can flood irrigate on this land. It's completely flat. Got some trees. So this is the old river valley, basically. So when the river flooded back in the day, made this nice, flat valley here. Driving up here to Jim's. Looks like Jim's home. That's good. Oh, man. Doesn't look like he has anything for me to do here. Every Alright, so let's go find Jim, wherever he's at, and uh, figure out what he exactly wants us to do. 
Come on, Jim. At least you have to start working yourself. Man, he still doesn't have furniture in here? What's wrong with Jim? Man. I'm gonna have to talk to Jim. Looks like the he's leaving his uh, Chevy truck outside. That's sunset. Gonna have to park that in one of his sheds here. It's got the Ford inside. It's got the Chevy outside. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see if we can figure out. I might have to call him, find out what he's doing. I don't want to knock on his door. All right, so I guess Jim purchased a lot of equipment. So he wants us to head down there and help uh, the dealership bring some of it back so we can get it all back today, so we can get in the field hopefully today. Look at Jim. He got him a freight shaker here. This thing is nice. All chromed out. Got the turn mirrors. The blind spot turn mirrors. Hmm. Came all the way from Virginia, huh? Let's see. So we got to get this thing started up. Get the air running. Look at this thing. Kind of nice. I kind of like this little old freak shaker here starts up got a unique sound to it while that's starting up I'm gonna undo the pin here undo this let the air start building up all right so I think we are about ready Let's see uh, figure out where he put look at them red machines in there. Two giant axle flow harvesters. Man, I can't wait to start driving them in the come harvest time. Alright. Alright, yeah. He said it, it was parked over here, so pick up his uh, beautiful red low boy here. Back this thing up here. All right, start lowering this down. All right, we are ready to go. Make sure this thing is completely ready. Start heading to the dealership. Means we are kind of wide. I think I'm gonna put my uh, hazards on here. He has his dryer going over there too. All right, Jim, you can uh, get out and start working sometime today. See, get rolling towards the dealership here. What we got coming up here on the road. Oh, we got some. Ooh, I hope you don't want to. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, that was kind of dangerous there. It's like uh, New Holland pulling a Kinsey. We better get back on the road over here. Uh oh, got something else. Oh man, I have to ride on the side of the road here. Sprayer? I don't know. What is that? An ACO? Tractor or something? Huh. Got a lot of action going on this road. Rolling now. Man. Probably should slow down a little bit on these country roads, but oh well. I don't see any uh, police around here, so I think we'll get away with it. Probably should turn slow down for these turns, though. A little bit. We'll downshift. That's what we'll do. Come by the dairy up here. Oh man. Dairy looks like they have a baler coming by here. It's like a case baler. A case tractor and baler there. Big square baler. Make the turn here. No cop, don't stop. We are rolling. Probably a little bit too quick. What do we got coming up here? Hmm. Oh, Alice? I don't know if that was a little feed box or something going on. Alright, here's the dealership coming up. 
see what uh, all Jim bought here. Roll down their beautiful driveway here. Up in here, I just, I just spent a lot of money at these people, this place. I think we'll just roll fashionably right in front of the door here. I think that'll be all right for them. Right, let's see what, where somebody is at here. All right, apparently they have everything back behind here. All right, so Jim bought a new piece of uh, tillage, a little plant prep machine. Not for sure. This is a SPS 360. Hmm. Got some disc on it. Some chisel. This looks like it will fluff up that dirt. Whew. Man. Bet that makes a good old seabed. It's got a lot of controls. A lot of gauges. Looks like some hydraulic pressure gauges. Man, this thing looks like it's built like a tank. Everything on that is built. Ooh, and he got a new drill air seeder. Ooh, I bet this wasn't cheap. I bet this wasn't cheap at all. That is not a cheap piece of equipment right there. Alright, so this is the big kahuna he bought. So he got a 9520RX. Look at them tracks. Wow. Them things are nice. So I know, I know, before you all, down in the comments, you can uh, heckle me, but I know these uh, markers right here, are one of the things, the most obvious thing that makes us European. So hopefully soon, uh, somebody will make a US version. Come on, my Giants. How hard is it to make a US version, a European version RX? For us, especially if you're going to make a DLC pack. I think that's a easy peasy. That's something really easy you could do. Just make it uh, something you can take off or you put back on. But So this one is custom modding's tractor here. This 9570RX. You can really tell by the tracks. There's a few other details like the grill few other things. I really hope that this uh, tow cable would work. That would be awesome. Don't know if that works or not. Haven't exactly got it to work, but that would be pretty cool if that thing would work. So, all right, so we need to get these loaded up. He spent a cajona on this thing. So, I, I, Jim is really, really going big time with his budget. Man, he must have got a good price for his uh, farm in Oregon for him to go out and splurge that much. I mean, all this equipment is like brand new. So we got to get the dealership is going to load up a few of the, the, hopefully load up the planter over in the back there. And uh, basically, I know John Deere doesn't sell that, but... They ended up uh, agreeing to uh, allow us to uh, unload it here so we can pick it up. That is some tillage equipment over there, planter. But we'll get that all loaded up. We'll get this uh, 9RX loaded up. And hopefully start heading back. Alright, man. They got all these loaded up. Wow. That is one loaded down trailer Let's see if this actually works or not all right we're headed off here i think that other truck will follow us down there try to get this try to get this to gyms not gonna wait for the dealership truck they said they needed to strap theirs down extra good this nice and wide man that thing is one heavy hunk of metal back there I am all right we're heading now freight shaker it's shaking but it's pulling it looks 
looks like the old silage wagon's headed back right there. Purring down the road, that's for sure. Should get there real soon. All right, so now we got this beautiful beast unloaded back at Jim's farm. So I think I'm going to put Jim wants that on the cultivator. Uh, that isn't back just yet, so we uh, I'm gonna do. I need to get uh, his magnum ready, and then I believe the John Deere. Need to get this and get it onto one of the chisel. We got a ground, we got a chisel down the f road. Wants me to hook this up here. A lot of stuff going on here. Alright, so we gotta go in the barn and uh, get one of these chisels. Hook it up here. Probably should have backed up in this barn, but oh well. There we go. Got one of the chisel machines. Hook that up. Get that ready for Jim. Try to take this nice and white so we don't clip anything Ooh, yeah turn in over there just barely gets under there just barely all right we will leave this parked over here to the side for Jim all right so Platte Valley finally unloaded all the equipment Got all of it unloaded. They're taking off down the road. And Jim is still nowhere in sight. He just took off like a bat out of you know where. And I don't know what he wants me to do. So we, uh, apparently we gotta hook up something here. I know, oh, here comes Jim. Ooh, what is he pulling? Has he got a seed tender over there? Yeah. About time. About time you show up, Jim. I had to do all the unloading, all the pulling. Alright, looks like Jim's taking off. He's gonna go chisel there. Wow, kinda got close there to that uh, planter. Alright, so he gave me a long to-do list. So first, I need to go park this truck here. So go park this here quickly. All right, we'll go uh, park this and then park it in, back it up right over there by that trailer again. Man, this thing's got a little, it's got some balls to it. It will definitely uh, get up and go. Gotta have to watch that uh, gas pedal on this thing. All right, uh, let's see, uh-oh. Guess I can't get through on the back side here. Gonna have to turn around. Oh, freight shaker doesn't turn around very. It's a wide turnaround. All right, we will get going over here. Hook this up. Uh oh, I parked a little bit too close. I'm gonna have to scoop out the back here. All right, oh man, hazard right there. All right, now we get to do some cultivating there. Oh, I see Jim running over there. And of course, we get to use this monster. Use this beast in the field. Hook up to his brand new cultivator here. Uh, is that good? All right. Uh, does this have a... Where is... I'm supposed to lift this whole hitch? You're joking, right? 
doesn't have that thing is heavy and we might have to get our little uh, loader over here oh my goodness that th hitch was heavy I think I have a hernia all right you're hooked up now we are going into this field right beside Jim get a work over here by Jim we're gonna cultivate this field up while he chisels the field beside us. I'm really surprised I get to drive this and Jim is driving the the John Deere over there. Alright, driving around here. So we are headed off. We're gonna do our uh, up and down rows first. And then we're gonna do our outside pass so we can try to make uh, this is smooth as possible. We are running at about eight mile an hour, so pulling it a little bit hard. Let's see it gives a little bit of a picking up there. I'm gonna turn around. I think we're gonna. I think I'm gonna program this in. I'm gonna basically skip some rows. Uh, so I'm gonna go up have to go up ways and then come back down be skipping some rows here we're started down doing another roll here we're gonna skip some rows we'll come back just because we're driving this big articulated tractor it's kind of hard turning with this uh, basically cultivator I like to call it the, the soil pillow maker but uh, we are going to uh, basically skip one row and then come back and forth here. And Jim kicked us out of the RX. He wants to run it. I mean, it's his tractor, so that's pretty understandable. He wants us to get the planter ready, so I need to go fill that up with seed. Hopefully get started in with soybeans if we can get everything figured out on it. it makes me figure everything out, and then he just goes and runs it. I see why he has me around for a farmhand. We're gonna park this. We still have a few more fields to chisel. Can't even hear this Ford over that uh, international, Case International over there. Looks like Jim just has the outside rounds too, which is awesome. Looks like when we get this, basically figure this all out, we should be able to start planting right away. Just notice this. Jim has some nice step sides on this truck. Kind of nice. What tires? I don't know what tires he has on this big dually. This is a F450 6.7 liter power stroke. Oh man. We're gonna have to raise that up somehow. Get it up here. Ugh. 
hopefully this thing raises a little bit, otherwise uh, Jim might have to take back his seat tender here. Alright, that thing just barely clears that, so we got the seeds filled up, so now I need to figure out how to put this boom back without breaking something. Oh, I got it, I got it, I, fi I figured it out, figured it out. Alright, let's uh, put this back here before we break something. Alright, we got the seeds in, uh, now we gotta get this to the field, get it calibrated. Oh, look, I forgot to shut the covers. Shoot. Get up here. Shut them covers, so... T3, T2, T1. I'm just amazed that the fertilizer is such a small container compared to the seed containers. Oh well. Hopefully this all works with the case monitor here. Barely made that turn. Is Jim on his last round over here? Hopefully he's on his last round so we can get started. So this does have a uh, roll shut off so we will do the outside passes first. Oh man, looks like uh, Jim has a few more rounds to do. Once Jim gets right coming back over here, this will be his last round. We'll start right behind him then. Unfold this here. Alright, we are going. Man, we are flying right around and we are following Jim. Uh oh. Jim better uh, put his foot down. We're going to catch him here pretty soon. Man, I can't get over how fast this thing goes. This thing is booking across this field. Yep. We're coming for you, Jim. Right behind you. Oh man, Jim, we're going to run. Talk about some freshly tilled dirt to plant in. I'm surprised the uh, case monitor, everything worked in, everything synced. So now we're being held up because Jim can uh, pull that thing is like this case can. He has to go a little bit slower so he doesn't make ridges for the plant surface, which would make uh, the planter bounce and not give uh, even seed depth. It's not something you want. See, this is a runoff from that uh, basically in between them fields there. Not Jim's biggest field. I, I would think that's the field catted corner to us. That would be his biggest field. This is kind of his medium field. I uh, think he's gonna, he has a few fields planted with soybeans. Some big company did some trials. That's where Jim found all this equipment. They came and they planted a few fields for him. I was... I didn't get to come see that, but that would have been cool to see. I guess they had 
a hundred foot planter. Hundred foot boom planter. That is crazy. Okay, lower that down and we are headed off again. But thank y'all for watching and I will see you later here in Missouri. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe.